रहमान रहीम दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट एंडोट्रेकियल इंटूबेशन इन न्यू नेट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एन ई डी डी इंसर्शन इन केस ऑफ एडल्ट एंड यू कैन फाइन इट्स लिंक इन द आई बटन इन द टॉप राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंश्योर दैट यू हैव ऑल द इक्विपमेंट्स रेडी फॉर इंटूबेशन फॉर एन एंडोट्रेकियल ट्यूब इंसर्शन यू नीड सेवरल इक्विपमेंट्स You have to make sure that you have an embu bag or any other device that you will be able to deliver oxygen and flow in case of not being able to intubate. You should have suction catheter just in case there are lots of secretions coming either before or if you are giving surfactant through an ETD that you can suction afterwards. You should use an endotracheal tube depending upon the size of the premature baby. In general, when we are referring to the size of an endotracheal tube, we are talking about the internal diameter. This is because the internal diameter determines the amount of the air that can be supplied to a person who has been intubated. Although the size of each baby is different, but generally these sizes are used. If a baby is delivered at 25 weeks of gestation, 2.5 French ETD is commonly preferred. In 30 weeks, 3 FR. In 35 weeks, 3.5 FR, and at 40 weeks, 4 FR ETD are commonly preferred. Get an appropriate size Macintosh laryngoscope. Zero size laryngoscope is commonly preferred for a premature baby, but that again depends upon the size of the baby. A very important step is to assemble the blade and handle of the laryngoscope by using appropriate technique, which you can see here. Once the sterile trolley with all the equipment is ready, stand at the head end of the baby. Hold the laryngoscope in the left hand. Introduce the laryngoscope blade by pushing the tongue away and visualize the glottis opening. If there are lots of secretions, get the suction tip and clear the secretions as required. With the help of the laryngoscope, identify the vocal cords carefully before inserting an endotracheal tube. Once you identify the anatomy of the epiglottis and the trachea, introduce the ETD gently. Do not force ETD in position. Now, this is the technique of insertion of an endotracheal tube. The laryngoscope light will guide us in visualizing the epiglottis and the tracheal opening, and the ETD is inserted in this way. Even after insertion of an ETD, look again with the help of laryngoscope. whether it is in correct position or not once the endotracheal tube is in position the next very important step is to secure it appropriately in its position so get the tape and that should be cut in such a way that the ends should reach from one ear to another on neonatal face and is cut worked vertically halfway like this one cut end of the tape should lie just beneath the nares as you can see here Take the other cut end of the tape just around the endotracheal tube to secure it completely. Be careful not to put too much tension on the tape because it can pull the ETD out of the trachea. So be careful and be gentle. So this was the whole technique of an endotracheal intubation in case of the neonates. As an ETD insertion is a very important component of neonatal resuscitation. So the good idea is to revise the steps of neonatal resuscitation. So first of all, make sure that the environment is neat, clean and safe and the equipments required are ready. Baby should be received in dry warm wrapping sheet. Assess for the color and breathing of the baby. Dry the baby with a sheet. Very often during drying the baby starts breathing. If baby doesn't start breathing with a the drying, then stimulate the back of the baby and the soul. If baby doesn't start breathing with a drying start suctioning of the mouth and then the nose give five rescue breaths with the embu bag in the neutral position which is head down and chin lift position after initial five rescue breaths assess the baby for the color and the breathing give five more rescue breaths by making sail with the embu bag if baby is still not breathing check the heart rate with the stethoscope If heart rate is more than 60 beats per minute continue to back at the rate of 40 breaths per minute after every 2 minutes stop to see if the pulse or the breathing has improved if heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute start chest compression at the rates of 3 compressions and 1 breath and then again 3 compressions and 1 breath if a baby is still not breathing give adrenaline 
0.2 ml per kg with a concentration of 1 in 10,000. Reassess the baby, wait for 3 minutes. If baby is still not breathing but the heart rate has improved, pass ETT, shift the baby to an ICU. If no response in 20 minutes, we can stop the resuscitation process. So thank you so much. That was all about the endotracheal intubation in case of the neonates and the steps of neonatal resuscitation. Thank you so much. Subscribe on Ops and Kaini. Allah Hafiz.